I, it says, you are live. I almost said, good morning, good morning. No, it is not morning. It is evening, unless you're across the continent. Somewhere on the other side of the world. Hi, it's Jeanette from Backroom Creations. Come on in. Hi, Patty. You're always first, almost always. You're ready for your Monday night therapy. Oh, you're so funny, Patty. Find myself, maybe. Hi, Stacy. Might be able to find myself. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Notification that we went live. Notification? We went live. Are we live? I said I didn't get one. Oh. Did I not follow my own business page? <laughs> yep. Hear you. I don't want to hear me. So, everybody, come on in and sprinkle the love. Hi, Patty. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Hi Sharon. Sharon. Okay. Don't jinx me. <laughs> oh. It's been a day. It has been a day. Hi, Deanne again. <laughs> Hi, Deanne. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. Hi, Rumi. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Don't, don't. Well, I've got the YouTube notification. Right? <laughs> Not hit the Facebook. Do, 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 do. Huh. Yeah, whatever. Come on in. Maybe. We're not we're gonna make something for I gotta make an example for my wreath class on Thursday. So I thought I would go ahead and make it for with you guys. Oh uh, you may be disappointed tonight, Patty. Floyd doesn't have any good vibes. It's Floyd's been, crabby. It's been a day. Cal, it is, it, Pam, it is definitely a Cal gonna take me away day. He had his stuff at work. I had my stuff at work. We come home and we're done. <laughs> oh, Patty, you're so sweet. We appreciate you. I really wish they would just leave everything together. Just, Facebook won't leave anything. Really. I know. Nope, that's not it. You can't believe Floyd's crabby. You haven't met him yet. Hi, Pammy. Hi, Francine. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, John. Becky from the UK. Girlfriend, you you are up late. Oh, awesome, Deanne. I'm glad. Are are you in um this name forgetting thing is really getting on my nerves. Hi, Donna. Do you have a roommate? Hi, Donna. Dan's like, I don't need no stinking roommate. Maybe we'll be on the... Hi, Julie. You're from Ohio. Great. So are we. <laughs> Sucky weather we've been having lately. It huh? is. It is. This... Hi, Pat. Hi, Pat. There we go. I found it. Jeez. That is good enough. So on Thursday, you guys have heard me talk about a company here locally that's asked me to do a craft um, night with them. Thursday's private group night. Oh, and those of you that are in the private group, Stacy Deanne, um, I'll let you. I'm gonna have to switch it, so I'll let you know if we're gonna do it. Can't do it Friday or Saturday. We'll have to work something out. Are you in Southern Ohio? We're um, hi, precious. We're northeastern almost a little bit. Southern's a big, you could be like western, southern, eastern, southern. We're mid eastern. It was a nice day. I had to turn my air conditioner on when I sat in my car for lunch, though. So, um, the ladies down at this place I'm doing the picked out a couple different designs. I'm going to do one of them tonight. And it's, um, they are very, they want a very farmhouse type things. 
So uh, this is a sign that I've had in my shop for a little while. So where? Um, so I they like this one. And then um, the ticking and the burlap is classic to farmhouse. And then I found this ribbon and I really like it. Thank you, Pam. It's a Swiss dot, but it's like black on burlap color. It's not burlap, but it's that color. And then, of course, the black and white check. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Hi, Debbie. We might do it. I could do it Wednesday. I'm off. I thought, I thought you said that's what you were. Oh, a double live on Wednesday? We'll see how, we'll see how tomorrow on Wednesday go to work. Okay. So Debbie's over by Cincinnati. We're south of Akron Canton. Hi, Bianca. Yeah, I think it the bow looks really good together. Hi, Bianca. So here's her, my bow. What I did was um because they're not doing any extra embellishments, they're just gonna sign and a bow. So I did a Lisa funky bow. Oh, okay, I know where you're at, hon. Welcome. If you wouldn't mind going up there and clicking those three dots and following, you'll know when I go live. If you'd like to come back, which I hope. But I thought that looked out really well. Um, because, you know, normally I put five ribbons in a funky bow. But because it's a kit, we're using just the four. So I did the three loops, you know, where it's two on one. So that filled out nice. So we're going to do the Woodland Ruffle surprise. I should do some of the ones that I have discovered lately. But we're going to use a natural. You got to be picky and choosy, Pam. But I'll, we'll, we're going to spend some time together, so we'll talk about that. Up the street. <laughs> Oh, you had Julie Creek. Thank you. Glad you like him. I don't see all the names. Um, my husband, you, you'll hear in the background, is the shipping department. So um, unless I'm helping well, him. The Facebook name threw me off. Oh. Okay. Some people have different Facebook names than what they order under. But, um, oh, yeah, because she orders under Julie Stewart. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I don't see all the names, but thank you for ordering and supporting us. So um, we have a poly jute. And then we just have a white iridescent. Um, I used to like the metallic in the white, but I have found that more, I don't say calmer, but line. not so glitzy, glammy designs like farmhouse the the silver foil through the white just doesn't fit um so i've been getting the iridescent or going with a fabric what would he do if i clip a clothes pin on his tail why don't you clip a clothes pin on his tail turn around and bite you keep, keep his tail <laughs> off of him <laughs> that cat of my son's does not come in this room unless floyd is sitting there and i already had this black um frame made so i think we'll be okay though so we're going to alternate the colors we'll show him out shut the door then of course he'll just put his paws underneath the door <laughs> my son has not been home a lot so i think he's 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 neglected you know we work he's been staying with his girlfriend Hi, Joan. Hi, Janie. You're ready to learn and have fun. fun. So we're not doing a whole, anything different. Um, but I'm glad you're here. Repetition is key to learning. It is. I learn by repetitious. Repetition. Yeah. <laughs> he just loves his pap. His pap doesn't always love him. Especially in the morning when he follows him around the house. When Floyd's trying to get ready. Because if he's not aggravated at the cat, he's aggravated at me because on mornings, I have to leave before him. He'll say, are you done in the bathroom yet? I'm going to move upstairs. Go ahead, move upstairs. 
<laughs> that lasts like five minutes. So we're just going to alternate the colors. Look, he heard you. He's going down the hallway. Bye. <laughs> oh. Well, it's been interesting at work. My store manager's on vacation. Camera. Oh, thank you, Dan. Switch camera. I always forget. Well, hi, Rebecca. Thank you for coming in. Everybody's, please sprinkle the glitter. I get to talk on it and then I forget to switch the camera. And then he says he won't switch it till I say something. So you guys got to keep me on my toes. You're not getting a quick picture, Janie? Did you try to go out and in? Because it's really clear. I know. It's usually real good on, on YouTube. It's usually Facebook that's all wackadoodle. Using Katie's lingo again. Are we still doing May 21st? Oh, absolutely. I got a post in there. I've been really busy this week. I know. It's clear on Facebook. Janie, do you use Facebook? Because I know sometimes I've got a girl in my private group, that poor girl. She just has the worst luck with um, What's May 21st? The, um, the newbies marathon thing that we're doing. Oh, I forgot about that. You forgot about that. It's probably because you don't have to do anything for it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I will be needed for well, the, technical assistance. Oh, yes. He's the, he's the IT and he's the shipping department. Well, the problem is I've never done a live with a phone, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to help them. Why do I need to do a live with a phone? Because they're all over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, Janie. I don't, uh, I'm not having any issues on YouTube. Are you on YouTube? Try going out and going back in, hun. Oh, I just now got the notification of doing it live on Facebook. Really? That's weird. 12 minutes in. <laughs> Good old Facebook. Yeah, I got the uh, schedule for May 21st. We're doing a marathon on the Creative Cat Crafters Guild. That's a page that is did Angela's. You, did you fill all the spots? Yeah. Yes. Um, hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. And, uh, I'm going to um, not everyone's going to be in newbies because we didn't get enough newbies to sign up. You know, some people are still a little skittish, but we'll get them there. And so we got some newbies and we got some oldies with goodies. <laughs> and the theme is, you're on YouTube, Donna? Yeah, sometimes it's just people's area. But the theme for that day is summer. Summer, summer. That should be interesting. Why? Summer can mean a lot of different things to people. It can mean camping. It can mean the beach. Picnics. What about camping on the beach? I guess. Not too close. So it's tied to all. Yeah, really? <laughs> As we found one, out one time when we went to um, Ocean Isle, we left our chairs and um, umbrella. umbrella down there, and the tide started coming in. I got burnt. I put on, what was it, 90 or 100 SPF sitting underneath an umbrella, and I still burnt through Christmas. You had to walk to and from the house. Yeah, I had to walk. Well, it was only air conditioners. <laughs> You know, the older I get, I used to be able to run outside, 100 degree weather, sweat rolling down your face, go jump in the creek. Now I'm like, my allergies are bad. I'm just staying inside. I have a really big backyard. We have a back, we have a really big jungle. All the trees and bushes. 
it's hot and humid there. Ugh. The hot I can deal with some. It's when it gets really humid. The Floyd was good and put all the air conditioners in except for the one in the bedroom. Because our big old house does not have central air. So these are really classic colors. You can just kind of run with them and go a lot of different ways. I don't know. Yeah, in the big picture, you can see this mammoth red, white, and blue patriotic from last week. The bow that we made on the in the public group here on Monday, I put that on. We made a. This is actually a five-gallon paint stick. Oh, yuck, Dan. So now we got the outside done. You can just start anywhere you want with whatever pattern. And it should fill up nicely. Um, the mesh is cut at 19 and a half. I do the half just because I didn't want to run out. And I would have had I done 20. Hi, buddy. Meow. You want to come on camera? He won't. He don't like picked up. He's like, you're gonna pick me up. You're gonna pick me up. Oh. Big fat cat. He's not a lap cat. He's a shetty cat. He no, doesn't. The first. Fur fly. <laughs> the first, uh, the fur fly. He does not like to sit on your lap. He won't jump on the. Well, he jumps on my son's bed, but. He used to lay on the back of the couch, but I have. He is big. Yes, he is very well fed. <laughs> the biggest complaint I have about him is he shits. He just follows us around. He likes belly rubs. Hi, Jenny. How are you doing? Doing better since I'm home. So my store manager is away on vacation. Another manager hurt her ankle. We don't know what that's going to mean. Hi, Shauna. Hello, hello. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. I roll it three or four times. You don't have a whole lot to crunch when you're just doing it. Oh. Only twice a month do I have my days off back to back. And sometimes I don't get one of them. So it kind of, I don't know. It, it's good and bad. So when my days are split up, the most days I work all together is, you know, three, four maybe. But when, um, you know, you just don't, you, you can't get a lot done when you just have one day off, running errands, going to the store, because, you know, I don't like to go grocery shopping. These poor kids in online grocery pickup. I was gone and they've gotten hired and they don't know who I am. And I hear one girl going, that's Jeanette. Don't you make her mad. <laughs> the one girl goes, I heard her say, don't squish the buns. <laughs> Cause I always tell them, don't squish my buns. I make them put them up in the seat. I used to put my um, my bundles in my Bodabra and squish them down, but then it seemed like it was making my rolls come undone. So here I've just been doing it like this to stand them up on each other. You still get the same effect, and I think it's a lot better. 
But as in Floyd always says, you do you, and it will still come out. Mainly on the shorter cuts, the longer cuts, you can just roll the ends quite a ways. Oh, so what summer theme projects are you guys working on? I've done a flamingo. I've done patriotic. I'm like, I'm red, white, and blued out already. And it's not even the end of May. Mostly because I was, we have our um, art show this weekend. Because it was supposed to be at the beginning of the month, but it got rained out. Um, and I had so much patriotic left over from last year. So I took them out, fluffed them up. Sometimes I take the bows off, redo the bow. Trim up any fraying going on. Sometimes I, I trashed. Well, I took it off the frame and just saved the frame. I trashed two wreaths this time. Because, you know, you can only move a deco mesh around so much. Grape vines are, are pretty good. They're pretty resilient. If you smoosh a flower, just get your little hand steamer out. Steam it up. Good as new. If you don't know that and you work with florals, that is like a game changer. Because how do, how do florals come to the stores? They come in boxes and they smoosh them. So get you a little $12 um, hand steamer from Walmart. Works wonders. Who's got vacations coming up? I was supposed to go on vacation, but, you know, things happen. You, you know, you can do that. And I did find out that um, I actually saved the tails. Now, I do a lot of different little things with the tails um, that I cut too many or whatnot. But um, I've used, I've taken a bow apart and I've ran the whole ribbon across my little steamer and it takes all the wrinkles out i mean i kid you not or you can use a yes a little travel steamer oh can you see that yep so you just fill it up the water steam comes out here and i just run it around I mean, it really, really works. I was, I was shocked. I use it on ribbon. I use it on flowers mainly. Um, I've used it on, you know, of course, it's for fabric. Um, you know, I have fabric in here I use instead of. You know, you, if you iron fabric that's been folded in the store, you can only get up so many wrinkles. So I'll try steaming it and then ironing it. So. Works wonders. Especially if I want to change the size of the bow. Maybe I want to take out a ribbon and add a different one. Um. I try, you know, Pam mentioned, you know, the good, solid quality ribbons. I've never seen cranked ribbon, Deanne. <laughs> I know what she meant. Well, I know what she meant, too. I'll do the, oh, good. I have little, um, I've, now I've confiscated Floyd's, uh, Floyd's um, heat gun. I have a little one, and now i got his big one in here. Yes, I already have paint on it. Well, box for it's used. Yeah. I'm like, it's even got its own little cubby over here. <laughs> Blow dryer on a cool setting is good, like when you want to bring a wreath in from a season and you're going to store it. 
make sure you know all the debris is out i still have i have my very first reef that on my very first live if you've been with me for since the beginning it'll be oh it'll be three years next month oh my gosh um i have him he's he's 30 inches wide and he's got a burlap frankenstein on it hi anna how are you We're just a uh, rolling away. I still I was redoing bases. I made some bases. Why well, I thought I need to buy make some more bases. I need to make some more pixies. Um, of course that's Floyd's job. You don't guys don't want to miss the sixteenth and the twenty third. Those are Floyd's nights. Hi Pat. We're doing good, Anna, as best you can, you know. We're woke up on the right side of the brain. I always tell people that at work. They're like, really, Jeanette? And I'm like, hey, you don't want to know my life story. So it's, it's we're good with that. Hi, William. Hi, Pat. We're having a busy, busy. When when our life is not busy, something's wrong. Because, well, a lot of you have been with me a while. You've seen me go through. Have I gone through two, both of my shoulders? No, just one. I've gone through a foot surgery. I've gone through a shoulder surgery. I've gone through a hand surgery. Oh, awesome, Julie. Hey, Stoney. Trouble. I'm not trouble. Yes, she is. Dan, no, <sighs> I am not going to do poops. He refuses. Yep, I'm not doing poops. He won't make a different kind of bow. He won't do poops. How are you doing, Stoney? I have not I miss I was watching everybody's lives all the time. Ooh, Jamie just threw you under the bus. <gasps> Jamie, you don't even you've never even met me yet. At least Stoney's met me. It's really funny because when I first started working at Walmart, I was an overnight stalker. And that's what they called me. They called me trouble. <laughs> hey Reba. Listen, this is what you see here is what you get. I am no different here than I am. You're gonna you're gonna teach me an easy way to make them? Teach him. <laughs> you can teach me and then I'll teach him. He'll probably still say, I ain't doing them. Because he's a footy doody like that. Though so he he did come out of the shell. He says, I'm gonna make a pancake pixie and he did that Ooh. so that was a plus of oh, floyd that is she's gonna teach you nah. <laughs> see nah i'm good see stony makes big bows you can make big bows i can make a big floyd bow <sighs> not a floyd bow Nine inch loops. yeah right I was gonna say you that. stay out of my ferris silk. <laughs> I'll show you how to properly use ferris silk. Yeah. Nine, ten inch loops. I did eight. I did eight on that one. See. That thing's wider than <laughs> than the uh, swag itself. It is. <laughs> it's okay. I know. I was thinking that, but I didn't say it. I like big bows, and I cannot lie. Oh. Okay. So I know we got black pipe cleaners in here, but we're going to chop them off. So I did cut, um, you know how I normally don't put tails on the inside. And so I got all my stuff on there. But since this is an example for um, my Reese class, um, in my head, <laughs> so we're going to put all 18 on there. I 
Laura. Hi, Laura. How are you doing? I sing a lot of things to myself at work, but mm, they have to stay in my head. Because if they came out, I might get in trouble. Might. I might. I do enough of that on my own. And my, I loathe satin ribbon. I really, really do. Sometimes it's just so darn cute. But um, some of the companies don't, you know, where we all get our supplies, they don't put what it's made out of. And sometimes you just really can't tell. So if you do it right, I do not use satin ribbons on my tails. Mm -mm, don't do it. Because the, the points, they just curl under. And I don't like floppy ribbon tail so but i'll put it in the bow or you can make the fake bows like melissa from crafty max you know that would be something of course you still have the tails on them normally i'll just put it in the bow but this is um i got this from well this one this one and i think this one this is like a heavy linen this is um Canvas, this is canvas, and this is burlap. I got them from a uh, wholesaler. Degrees. Oh, yeah. yuck. You know, I don't think I've ever bought any taffeta ribbon. I've looked at some of it. I thought I wanted to sublimate on it. <laughs> Alright, so we're halfway through, or half an hour in... So Floyd's going to give you the word of the day. Maybe. What's that? Oh, All the glitter mail has been sent out. So if you won glitter mail last month, it's on its way. I didn't know how I felt about the dots and the flag, but I think I like it. Looks like it looks fine. I think I will get some of this more of this burlap though for fall. I like it. Of course, you just don't have it for fall either, but you know, for scarecrows and whatnot. Dan, did you sell the rest of your wreaths? You's almost wiped out there at the end. Hi, Janice. Just finished supper. Awesome. Uh oh. Somebody's going ice skating. He wood skating. Uh, uh, Sims Pottery. Ooh, somebody's calling. Hey, nobody wants to talk to us. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. I've been there, though. Yeah, for especially if it's 90 degrees outside. Yeah. Ours will start flying off the shelves, trying to walk out the door. That's awesome, Deanne. I'm happy. Do I, need, do I need to make another moo cow? <laughs> You've got all the holidays now, but they might want something different. Thank you, Janet. I love ticking. I have ticking in red. I have it in black. Hi, Ellen Wellen. How are you doing, girl? Tick, tick, tick. Oh, shush. It's called ticking. It's a farmhouse. Like a time bomb. I'll give you a time bomb. He likes to come in here and see if I put any uh, pipe cleaners down on the floor. That whole blue pipe cleaner's been laying over there. Oh, today. my, Jamie, that's horrible. Oh, he 
get that hot where <laughs> I work, I'm not leaving my office. Oh, awesome, William. You'll have to show pictures. I like to see everybody's different setups and diaper cakes are pretty big around here. Yeah. I've made two or three in my life. Years ago. Yeah. If you're not leaving the house, I don't blame you. My very first grandchildren. When we did their baby showers, I did them di diaper cakes, and they were only two two months apart. They were fun. That's back when I was a manager, or not a manager, and had a little more time. Was it going to school? Years ago, I actually Floyd was. Yeah, he was home after knee surgery. We had five kids at home. And I was working full time and going to school full time. That was rough. And we are busier now than we were. We're busier now than we were then. We don't have any kids in the house. <laughs> it's just a different kind of busy. Except we do have fluff ball here. He's your baby. He likes you. Awesome, Jamie. Congratulations. Magnolias are big around here, too. I know mm, mine's still up, up downstairs hanging up. You need to get to the shop. I, I'm thinking about, so I've got worries in there, you know. I always change out my seasons, but I've got some that have been hanging in there since March. So I think I'm going to flip them out. Do the new new vibe it's very awesome when we sell stuff we've done really hi, good monica. hi monica how are you what did you miss we're making a farmhouse example of a wreath that i'm going to do in a class this week I'm sitting here socializing i'm sitting here just chit-chatting not doing anything spectacular but you know the woodland ruffle and some tails I know the very first time I sold a wreath on Etsy, I'm like, I sold a wreath, I sold a wreath. <laughs> You're about ready to pull out your Halloween stash. Girlfriend, it ain't time for Halloween. Of course, I'm, a, I'm almost over patriotic already. Yeah. We may wind up pulling some fallen Halloween out for Art on the Alley. Yeah. This coming weekend, too. Um, I don't want to pull out. I'd pull out fall. I wouldn't pull out. But we're doing pretty well in in the shops this year. Better than we did last year. Hey, Amy! So we are farmhousing it. Not ready for Halloween. I can do Halloween year-round. He likes Halloween. Me and my daughter do. You need to make fall. I have quite a bit fall. I have quite a lot of Christmas. Uh, we sold a lot of fall. Let's oh, we fall. did. I'll have to go down and count. I, say, I don't think you have as much fall as you think we do. So right now, there is only two wreaths down at the storage unit that are not fall, Halloween, or Christmas. One's a sunflower and one's... We have one's... a lot of Christmas. We have a lot of Christmas. Too much Christmas. Halloween's your favorite? Yeah, so is it Floyd's. Halloween, but Halloween... And then Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's also compact. You know, at Walmart, we call it Happy Thankmas. Because <laughs> it's so hard to decorate. So Halloween, I don't make a whole lot of Halloween. I probably made more last year. You're welcome. Make like a wreath with a Santa on it, wearing a, wearing a hockey mask, holding a turkey leg. <laughs> Somebody would get it, probably from Walmart. <laughs> I think that'd be a good idea for a sign. Oh, so Floyd wants me to make a sign with Halloween, Thanksgiving, Fall, or Christmas on it. Not oh no, so we're not sure. just gonna make a sign. We're gonna make a whole wreath. Oh, we're gonna make a whole wreath. 
Absolutely. Alrighty. We'll use red and green and orange and brown and black. Wow, that'd be colorful. So I already put my cable mounts on the back. Normally I wouldn't use black ties, but I already had one made, so we're just going to go with it. White. All my whites downstairs making the kits. <laughs> well, yeah. It'll be alright. Yeah, there you go, Dan. Thinking smarter. No, I just sell more of them. Oh, uh, you know what? I used to love to decorate for everything. I'll have time. We own a business that makes decorations. We don't decorate. <laughs> we got time. I used to, what was it, year before last, I took all my antique glassware off my mantle and I decorated it. I have a double mantle. So I had it huge decked out for Christmas and the antiques never came back out. I just put centerpieces up there or... Every available piece of space in our house is wreath or centerpiece or gray saddle storage. It is. At, the, at this point in time. It is. Oh, you start in September? No, I think last year was the first year I really didn't decorate for Christmas. I was just so tired. I always I try to make sure there's a wreath out there, but we don't even have a wreath on the door right now. No, I took the Easter down and I never put anything back up. Well, I have found out the way um, we open up our door. It's like because we live in a very old house. You open up a door, you're in a little box foyer, and you open up another door. The inside door is not always closed. Winter time it is. Um, but I can't put nothing very thick on the outside door or else the guys just murder it. So I went to door hangers. And then one took off down the street in a really bad storm. <laughs> and we never did find it. Somebody picked that bad boy up, put it in their <laughs> car, and took it home and gave it to their wife. I think that was a patriotic one. No, it was pink. Was it pink? I don't remember if it was. Mm. I don't remember what season it was. I don't remember that. But door hangers, you know, where you like put uh, the mesh, you know, and then on the sign above it. That's just not popular here. I've done the one where you broke break the frame and attach yeah. it. Yeah, we don't do trick or treat either. <laughs> There's not. I would tr do trick or treat. I have no objection to it, but nobody else in our neighborhood does it, so we probably mm -hmm. wouldn't get hardly anybody. Well, else. around the corner, we'd get the people from the church across the street. That oh yeah, the, there's a church across the street. They always do a uh, hot chocolate and hot dogs for the kids. Yeah. I used to make sure that I was always off because um, the kids would come in town. Um, a lot of times we would take the grandkids. Take the you know walk with the, the grandkids. Well, COVID, you know. COVID put a stop to that. And then, I don't know, we just we work. We come home and we work some more. Yep. This is this is what's going to be my retirement job. So. I'm just trying to make it big so I can retire from Walmart. And my boss knows that too. As soon as I can replace about 75% of my income, peace out. The guy stopped giving me raises or I'll never get there. <laughs> Oh, Amy, we have a house like that. She used to work at Walmart, and she, she just didn't decorate like that last year. Um, there, 
well, they have a home business, uh, cleaning business, and she just said that they were just so busy. Hi, T. Thank you. Oh, you live in a golf course? I don't know if I'd like that. Four crack <laughs> through the window. When I was younger in my 20s, I used to clean houses for um, a lot of people that live like gated communities and um, golf courses. And uh, one day the kitchen window got broke. She was just a cussing up a storm when I walked in. I'm like, what's wrong? She goes, them buttheads broke my window. <laughs> so normally I don't put all these ribbon tails inside, but since this is for a example. Yeah, but Jamie, you can still decorate on a farm. You can decorate the fence. Oh, wow. What's going on here? Retired first, then starting a business. Well, I would love to be able to do that. But unfortunately, there we go. Unfortunately, that wouldn't work out so well. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Keep telling my dad that's what he needs to do out of his place. Just get get some goats. They get a few goats. He wouldn't have to mow. <laughs> is his mower still working? Yep. Okay, good. My son. So his dad is eighty. One, 82. two, eighty-two. He just turned eighty-two. Um, he's out there, jacket his look mower up, had it hanging in the air. We're like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I need to mow my grass." And so I sent my son up to fix his mower. Oh, you get to decorate! Awesome. Dad would decorate, he um, would decorate the little bushes out front. That's about it. Mom and dad had a tradition that there had to be, <laughs> I grew up, I won't say really, I didn't grow up poor, but I didn't grow up well off either. Um, but it was a, a cardboard star covered in foil with a light bulb cut through a hole. That was like a tradition for ever oh thank you william mm, not locally we won't keep around it's here better keep around here cheap <laughs> hey no problem debbie at least they enjoy it too huh and i like seeing a wreath on my house when i come home I have determined though, because I have like railings around my porch, um, and I normally do a swoopy evergreen. I'm making stuff on yardsticks, and then I can just attach it to the railing. Because the little swishy, like the little half circle dip, it, they end up blowing anyway. For some reason, we get pretty good wind here in town. I feel like some days we live in a wind tunnel. Because that big parking lot across the street. Yeah. Thank you, Debbie. So here's our last ribbon tail. Very farmhouse-ish. I can't, I can't pick a a theme to decorate in. I'm more eclectic. Howdy, Debbie. I mean, I like traditional. He likes modern. I like industrial modern. But that's kind of turned into, you know, farmhouse two type. We put the, like, the pipe fixtures. Um, oh, thanks, Donna. Um, in 
the bathroom. Oh, in the living room. I have burlap curtains. I've always wanted burlap curtains. One girl walked in. She goes, those are ugly. I'm like, oh, they're mine. <laughs> Who said that? Um, Mindy. She's weird. She don't count it. Yes. So I like that idea, but where I have to store them, I need it smaller. Hi, Phyllis. How are you doing? So here's our sign. We have three huge storage units. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> You're talking about not having room to store something. Thank you, Amy. Just simple, classic. I personally like a 10 inch, but I did 8 inch for the class. Had I thought about it, I probably printed 10s for them, but it is what it is. I'll probably change it out. Oh, my wrist is doing pretty good. Um, it's healed up pretty good. So a little tender. My fingertips are, uh, I have a little bit of a problem picking up small things like pins, but it'll be all right. Thank you, Janet. And all the cow signs are Deanne's fault. <laughs> Thank you, Deanne. Yes, I have a very large selection of cow signs. And black, black Angus, some brown and white. Um, what's the black and white ones? Holsteins. Holsteins. In every season you could think of. Thanks to Deanne. <laughs> and she sells a lot of wreaths out there. You're the farmhouse girl. I like it too. So I'm probably, if I had to like narrow it down, I would be like the industrial farmhouse with the, the piping and stuff. <laughs> it sounds like me. Just, just hang them all along the walls. He can deal with it. So listen, and I'm not joking. We have nine foot ceilings. So I put nails in the top of um, my woodwork and I have probably 20 wreaths hanging in my dining room because we're getting ready for a show, but usually there's a few hanging in there. Oh, thanks Phyllis. Yep. Amy's from Three Princess Designs. She is out in Arizona, right? She's out. She's mountain time. Debbie said she ran out of wall space. <laughs> we have that same problem. We do have that same problem. Utah. Utah. I knew I knew it was right That's there. A far cry from Arizona. It's in that little box. Apparently, Jeanette needs to take some geography lessons. Oh, well, you know. She's not anywhere near us. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> That's funny. Now, I have, I hang one on all the doors up here, except for the, no, I don't have one on the bathroom door. Floyd has one of his flower wreaths hanging on his door that's not for sale. In the spare bedroom. And, or in the, the grandkids, it spare Re bedroom. Re storage sometimes. I throw boxes and stuff in there. And then when kids want to come over, I got to shove it all in here. <laughs> so there's our sign. The next time I do... Uh, Reef class, we're going to do 10 signs. Here's my bow. Like I said, this is kind of a Lisa funky bow. 
Just wanted it a little bit fuller. Oh, yeah. You can do it that way. I have a shoe rack on one of the um, closet doors that when I, my room was in the next room, I used to put ribbon in. It's still hanging there. I you know I hate to shuffle things around too. But it is what it is. Until I get that warehouse, all I need is a little bedroom and kitchenette on the end. And I'm thinking right in the middle. Oh, right in the middle? What, so one side's yours, one side's mine? No, just right. Right in the middle with the warehouse space all the way around. Oh, all the way around? Yeah. I don't get my hair caught in the wreaths, but like... His clothes. Certain shirts, like you touch deco mesh with it, you're stuck. Your flannel jackets. Oh, the flannels are the worst. <laughs> right. So adding, um, because I only used four, the four ribbons I have in the wreath is why I chose to do like um, the Lisa bow, which is three loops of every color. You just alternate which side has two. You know what, Debbie? Well, I don't have wreaths up there, but I do have them in a storage unit. And that storage unit gets as hot as yep, gets, my gets attic. As hot as the attic does. And the only time I have problems with my signs is when I was using E6000. I've had to reattach some signs. I think one sign, one of the things popped off after I started using DAC. So the Rapid Fuse, that's what I've been using for a year and a half or so. And no, we are not sponsored by DAC, no. <laughs> but we are open to it. That's what we need, some sponsors. There you go. All right, switch my camera, honey. So even though I did put the eight inch sign because I have all these ribbon tails hanging out, it's not so bad. It's just not what you're used to. It's making. just not what I'm used to making. You like it when the mess shows. So I prefer the 10 inch sign, but it's still cute. I should bring my ribbon wreath up. Ain't no mess showing in that. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Oh, no, Amy. I'll miss you. Schedule it after. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Laura. I'm going to half and half on that. I like it peeking out. Thank you, Amy. Okay, cool. Are you going to come in September? Thank you, Janet. Won't see me in September. He's salty. He's being salty, ladies and gentlemen. I am not. I said, I'm going back to general wholesale. I got the flying fears over. I'm good. I know how to navigate an airport now. I know Deanne's going. Thank you, Francine. All right, guys. Look, and it's only an hour. Of course, you know I had some prep done, but so thank you so much for all your love and support. We appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to text the word welcome to 330-583-1935. If you don't know what that is, it is um, our giveaway for each month. Every time we go live, we give you a word of the day. And then um, the very little bot pulls three names. We play a little game on how to pick prizes. Thank you, Janie. And then we send them out. So I hope you guys have a good week. If you're having hot weather, stay in the air conditioner. <laughs> and we'll see you on Wednesday. Night, guys.